Stock car racing is officially classed as a form of dirt track racing, with races usually taking place on oval shaped dirt tracks surrounded by concrete walls. However, unlike its siblings, stock car racing allows for full on contact, providing for some exciting and unpredictable action. The cars themselves are unique with varying setups and designs. Drivers and teams have the freedom to create their own builds, providing they fall within championship rules. Uh, my name is Damien Orr. I drive the uh, 81R Superstock from Rotorua. Uh, so I run a Darren Watkins uh, Toyota VVTi. Um, it runs a ZF gearbox um, out of a Bedford van, and then we've got a Winters Quick Change diff. Uh, at the moment I've got the extreme in there, so I get the individual spark to each coil. Um, we were running the Fury, but that's the only reason why I went back to the extreme. It's a 1500 kilo, um, 1UZ Toyota V8 powered car, um, Hoosie race tyres, um, winter's quick change diff, um, AFCO double adjustable shocks, and um, we race here full contact sport, so um, hitting each other is encouraged. Um, we're running Toyota 1UZ, um, it's been um, quite highly modified. Um, a Link G4 Plus Storm. Um, yeah, it's been really good upgrading to the Link this season and um, the tunability of it. It's um, quite helpful and um, a lot of the data that we've been logging to, so keeping on the engine parameters and um, what it's been doing. It's, it's quite hard to keep a track of gauges when you're racing, so it's, um, it's quite beneficial to our racing this season. I run a Holden Ecotech V6 built by Terry O'Connor, Rotorua, O'Connor Race Engines. So we pull off the, um, the manifold, we modify it. Yeah, we run a wasted spark um, single core. Um, per cylinder ignition system set up in them. Uh, they are bored out slightly, a lot of head work goes into them, aftermarket cam, um, and yeah, pretty tuned up what I mean. Stock car racing is quite different to other motorsports, in that drivers are allowed to push one another into the track infield, the wall, or each other. It can prove to be quite a tactical motorsport, but with the risk of collision, what is it that attracts drivers to this motorsport over other disciplines? So what drew me to the sport is um, the fact that it's not boring. It's you can entertain. You can you can take out the leader without getting into trouble. You can you can come from the back, work your way through by taking out every car on the way. Um, yeah, it's, it's just it's just in general fun. The crowd just love it. The the more you can entertain, the more they they like it and they'll come back. Um, obviously, you don't like to hurt the other person, but you certainly like to immobilise them as such. Or, yeah, so it's just one of those things you, yeah, you just grow to love it and then you just carry on and you can't stop, you don't want to stop. <laughs> yeah, although this is um, individual racing, um, team tactics can come into it and um, a lot of it comes down to respect and friends that you've got on the track to, to help you out. Um, if none respects you, the chance of winning is quite slim due to the contact aspect. Yeah, so basically on the track, um, there can be enemies, but generally off the track, uh, we're all friends, we're all here to have fun and do what we enjoy doing. It's, uh, it's part of the sport we sign up for. Many automatically presume that the tracks used in stock car racing are simple ovals, but there are many variables on the track that can influence each driver's performance. Um, so yeah, on um, super stocks we race on um, dirt track ovals, have the track surfaces vary from track to track um, depending on the type of clay used and the um, other stuff that they've mixed in. To a lot of people they do give us a lot of grief about turning left only. Um, there is a lot of left hand turning but there is some right turning being a contact class. Um, different tracks are different shapes, I mean they look like ovals to a lot of people um, but the difference between a few tracks, um, Woodford Glen here in Christchurch where we are, the, there's a, one very tight corner and one sort of looser corner but the straights are very long. Similar to my home track Rotorua where we do have a tight corner at one end and a looser one at the other one uh, but very short straights so the setup like I mentioned is something we do work with a lot. Um, another track Stratford's very open and almost a D shape rather than an oval or a, an egg shape like where we are. Um, so that it does, it is very different and the surfaces do change from track to track. Some of them making it a bit harder to clean from time to time as well. We're stuck in a track that's um, pretty much a circle with straights, two straights um, and we can hit concrete walls, you name it. They, everyone can take us out, we're just, yeah, we're nuts really. As you have seen, stock car racing is an extremely exciting and entertaining motorsport for spectators and drivers alike. With many factors at play, both mechanical and tactical, it is hard to predict the winner before each race, which just adds to the excitement and unpredictability of every event.